All right, so what I wanna do is show, I'm gonna use a simple pencil injector on an injector test stand. And while this is something we would do in industry for sure, we would actually, on a simple pencil injector, be able to check for pattern. What I'm gonna do is intentionally start with the pressure too low. So I'm gonna, I backed out the adjusting screw on the top that's changing the spring pressure on the top of the needle that sits down in the seat. And this is a multi-hole injector. My hands are there, I know I have no pressure, I've verified I have no pressure, uh, but my hands are free from the actuator lever. Uh, otherwise, yes, there is a risk of high pressure injection, so you never wanna have your hands close to a tip as somebody could be moving that lever. Uh, not only that, we would normally have a plastic can around the injector to catch any of that atomized fuel. So I'm gonna have this open uh, in this example only so that we can have a nice clear view of what's happening with at the end of that injector. So what I want to do, the main point of this video, what I want to show you is that as we increase the pressure by increasing the tension on the spring that holds the needle closed, as we increase this pressure we are going to see an an increase in the atomization, so the smaller particles. Right now, we're gonna see what the cracking pressure of the injector is, we're gonna pump it, and we're gonna see more of a stream of fuel. And, and so then, that's gonna have poor atomization. And as we increase our pressure, this one will go all the way up to about 2700 PSI, where the cracking pressure is, and as we move up in our pressure, we're going to see an increase in the rate of atomization, which allows for an easier mixing in the air and a better and more complete combustion. And so let's just get it out of the way. Let's get this going. So I'm gonna pump this up with the hand lever on this side, keeping my hand away from the injector. And I'm gonna to start to build up pressure. There's five, there's a thousand, 11, 12, 13, 14. So at 1400 PSI, about 1350, 1400. So I want you to see that stream of fluid that's coming out the injector tip. It is coming out, but it's spraying out. It's not making a fog. What we want to see is atomization creating a fog of fuel. So I'm going to turn up the adjustment just a little bit. I'm going to do about a quarter turn every time and we're going to see the increase. So now I'm up at 1500. So we start to see a solid stream. It is, oh there we go. Now we're starting to get Closer, but it's still coming out in a stream. There is a bit of atomization happening. You can hear that chatter happening. And there's a fog of fuel. Okay, so now we're gonna increase it just a little bit more. Another 90 degree turn. And now we're up at about 18, 1900 PSI. And you can start to see the fuels coming out of that injector nozzle in a fog. We're getting the chatter that should come from an injector. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up yet again, another 90 degree turn. So now we're closer to cracking pressure of 1700 and we're getting more atomization. I'm just gonna turn it up yet again, 90 degree turn. Cracking pressure is now 1900. And you can see even more of a fog coming off. Going up again, another 90 degree turn. Check the cracking pressure. 21. Okay. I'm gonna turn it up another 90 degree turn. 23, 24, so now we're at 2400 PSI. So now you can start to see the haze of fuel that's building here. So that's at 2400. Now we're gonna go up another 90 degree turn. Check the cracking pressure on this injector. So now I'm at 25, again, what we should be noticing when it comes out about here in the video, you should be noticing that it's coming out in a finer, whiter cloud. This is why if you've noticed on an, in, on an engine, if you know fuel is being delivered but it's not being burnt, 
what comes out is a white smoke. That is atomized fuel coming out of the exhaust. So now let's check the cracking pressure and we're up at 2700 PSI. And you can see as it comes off that injector now, it's coming off in a great big fog. That's what's going in to the cylinder at just before top dead center starting to mix with your air in that turbulent air and now we have an air fuel mix that once we get heated compression ignites and so you can see already the stream from when we were at 1400 it came out basically as a squirt of fuel and now at 2700 we get to a fog that comes out of that multi-hole injector and if we think 2700 and when we get to high pressure common rail, it's not uncommon for us to see 30,000 or 40,000 PSI. And so the atomization will be even greater, which allows for an even better and more complete combustion.